What's up guys, my name is Wangari Mahinda and today I have an interesting topic and before I start this topic because I'm going to do a sit down video let me give a disclaimer if you hear cocks crowing that's because I'm in Shags for the Easter period and we hope they don't crow three times <laughs> anyway um, I studied bachelors of science in mechatronics engineering at the university level and every time a student is, is, is thinking of pursuing uh, that course those people who know me I always get questions or I get referrals of people who want to get an understanding of what is mechatronics engineering first let me just tell you when we were back in university there was always this debate on is it mechanic mechatronics or is it mechatronic and everybody was like there's no plural for like engineering you don't say electricals you don't say mechanicals you know but I will go with mechatronics because it sounds more it sounds like it's the right thing to say and I want to describe exactly or rather give you an idea of what mechatronics engineering is all about I will go first to Wikipedia and pull what Wikipedia is telling us about mechatronics so from Wikipedia I've gotten that mechatronics which is also called mechatronic engineering is a multidisciplinary branch of engineering that focuses on the engineering of both electrical and mechanical systems so that is just basically what it is so from my own own explanation let me just tell you what my understanding is of mechatronics engineering in the olden times all machines were being operated by human beings like everything was so mechanical everything if you wanted to achieve something someone had to be involved human power had to be to be involved by modern times we have a lot of machines that don't need human intervention to operate and that is where mechatronics comes in there has been a lot of automation over the years there's no if you want to make juice you don't go and stir the ingredients and once you're done stirring the ingredients you open the tap and you, you you fill in the bottle then you put a cup and cover it that is long gone okay when you're starting when you when you as a startup like when you're young you might be doing that as a company because you don't have the resources to, to acquire expensive machinery but in current times nothing is purely mechanical you will find a machine is able to have a brain or a mind that is what I call it a mind of its own and it's able to operate without having to be told do this do that and how do we achieve this when I was studying mechatronics engineering and I know it's still the case right now because it's not like I was say a long time ago um, with there was a lot of training in terms of sensors um, we taught a lot of microprocessors uh, PLCs so basically for me mechatronics is that thing uh, it's that integration that allows a machine to have some form of intelligence on its own. So you'll be taught, taught sensors, because sensors for me, or rather sensors is the way a machine is able to tell exactly what is happening. It's its eyes, its ears, its touch. It's the way a machine is able to tell, okay, um, you have a sensor right here that is able to tell, oh my goodness, it's an obstacle just close to me, so stop or change direction, you know. So it's how you inject intelligence into machines so if you're out there and you are thinking let me go study a bachelor's of science in mechatronics engineering you're likely to study a lot of that sensors um uh, motor drives uh microprocessors uh a lot of uh, mechanisms gears uh because it's a match of mechanical and electrical at the same time because nothing is purely mechanical and my favorite favorite subject let me lie to you my favorite was sensors because for me sensors was so eye-opening i'd gone for an industry attachment where i was able to see just exactly how sensors work so i will give you a, an example of a sensor that made me just get drawn into the whole world of engineering there's this sensor that would i will simplify it so that it's understandable to the most even if you don't have any understanding of engineering you'll understand exactly how this works so there was a sensor that had um a transmitter and a receiver on the other side so bottles of of, of product will be on conveyor belts just moving and you want to be sure of how many bottles have we packaged how many bottles have we made today so how does this sensor work this sensor will transmit a light signal and there's a receiver if the light signal gets to the receiver that means there's no obstacle but every time a bottle passes then you know that signal will be intercepted so the receiver will not be able to get that signal so what does that mean there was a bottle of product that passes and using that you're able to count how many bottles you've churned out in a day so if you're planning to study mechatronics expect a lot of that expect a lot of um what else did we learn i, I did mention plc's and basically it's for me if you ask me it is 
it is a course of the future it is something that is going to be uh, op open your mind it's something that is everything that we're doing right now is a mechatronic product cars nowadays have become so smart they have sensors washing machine is a mechatronic product cameras are mechatronic products nothing is purely mechanical so if you're planning on doing this course i wish you the very best go ahead and pursue it girl and you're going to get opportunities out here and where can you work if you've studied mechatronics engineering you could work in manufacturing you could work in um manufacturing is the main one in robotics artificial intelligence there are a million and one applications so guys that's my description of what mechatronics engineering is i hope it's given you an idea of what it is that it entails and you will learn more as you go or and embark on the journey of pursuing it as a, as a course so I hope I've made it simple. It's as I enjoyed this episode. If you guys want me to do more videos of engineering stuff, um, explanations, and uh, my experiences in the field, kindly comment down below and tell me, let me know if this video has given you a little bit of an understanding of what mechatronics engineering is all about. Love you guys and subscribe to my channel. Mwah. Bye!